Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Pipeline Trail. People have been going on because it has been uh, repaired in some areas. So we're going to be taking a look at Pipeline as of 2023 and on my video of 2013. So 10 years we're going to be comparing this trail. So note where we're at and you might want to flip back and forth through the video just to refresh yourself what you see and of course i'm sorry back then i was a little bit slower of a rider but i was also riding alone too so that's naturally you should ride a little slower when you're just out there by yourself and i'm riding around and you can see i even have a garmin at that time on the gas gas ec 300 this is a 2012 bike but look at the trail the trail overall has changed drastically well, I wouldn't say drastically, but it has changed and, you know, that's just nature. So eventually you have to repair these trails. So, of course, I'm going a lot faster, but here's going along the pipe. Boom, 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 going along it. You can see the various holes. You can see the pipe. You can, uh, you know, probably flip back or forward to the various sections of this video and be able to match it up and be like, hey, Wow, that tree's bigger now, you know, there's spots uh, in the video where it's just really interesting to see the changes, like that tree back there, you know, it's a lot bigger than it used to be, <laughs> you know, oh, this tree right there, that tree actually, sorry, sorry, that tree, so you'll see that same split in the video here coming up, so it's going to be the new video, then the old video referencing the area and then back to new video showing more stuff so that's how we're going to progress through this and sorry once again uh, i was a slower rider and i'm by myself so you'll just have to deal with listening to me talk during these sections a little bit longer but you can see the pipe again see the broken pieces i think they're still there in the other video and you can kind of see not as big of whoops of course i didn't like anything that was even somewhat whoopy but you can see light whoops were developing there's that little tree huh isn't that pretty cool and <laughs> now it's a lot bigger of a tree i just think this is fantastic that i've been videoing so long these trails right there that tree again that tree matched it up earlier and it's just amazing how these things grow how we form these lines around the trees because now people go left or right the right is a lot more whoopy here we're going up over that boulder kind of shows that i'm a little bit better rider now because i go up over stuff here i go through that same spot same spot's still there but notice people weren't going really far right around that other rock so that's kind of interesting and we're dropping down we're going across this uh, creek crossing right here and off to the uh, left and we're gonna go through these trees and you know kind of have a lot of fun I think some sections of the trail have gotten better and then other sections used to be funner I don't know it's kind of watching both videos I'm kind of tossed up on the hardness I think it was a lot easier back then it just seemed hard for my skill level at that time I think if you were to go back in time and ride that trail at the skill level I, I'm at now if I were to go back and do that I think I would find the trail back then pipeline was much easier and people nowadays don't remember that or they're new to the area and they think pipeline was always this most extreme trail of all time I used to always consider pipeline a lot easier than Mount Rosa aka Nelson's trail at that time I you know and a lot of people nowadays consider pipeline kind of hard um, yeah I always consider it really easy and flowy which it was so here we are we're going across a creek crossing I kind of you know skipped ahead to the harder section here because this video is quite long and you see the sign sign still there and, and it was back then same thing dropped through the creek crossing so always water in that creek and here's the sign we're going to flip back to the newer stuff and jonathan goes ahead and blast on up i let him go and then i make my way and you'll notice this area is totally different back in 2013 versus 
now, 2023. So I blast up that. And then right here. See, now a lot of people go right now up here. We used to always go straight. The right wasn't even a line. I don't even think that was a line. It was like a faint little, maybe somebody's gone there. I don't know. Let's check it out here and see if you can tell. So here I am. You can go up that rock. I'll just straight up it because it wasn't that hard. That, that wasn't even nothing back then. That was nothing. That was easy. And see, we always went straight. And I hit that and I threw the bike, you know. I used to throw the bike quite a bit back then versus nowadays. And then here we are. We're going to go up and around this. Which I think is a newer obstacle than it used to be. But we'll be checking it out here in a minute. And I just think the trail back then was actually a lot easier. See, I don't even think it was anything. These little steps, like right here. That's where it would have been. That was just like smooth. You just went over it. It was not a weird notchy thing. And then those routes weren't all that bad. So it shows you the trail was a lot easier. So for the critics that are like, oh my god, they ruined Pipeline. It used to be an easier trail. So you either are new here or you weren't riding back then, <laughs> you know? So you got to think these trails are ever changing. These trails are going to get harder over time. Maintenance is going to have to be done. It's going to make it seem like it's making the trail easier, but it really isn't making it easier. It's just taking it back to where it might have been at one point, and it will erode again. A couple years go by, the stuff they did, it's going to all change. So it, it doesn't really matter. And I think this section used to be actually kind of hard back then, right there. Because it was like really trenchy. You know, it wasn't really wide and smooth. And then going up here, you know, you're getting into the exposure area. Getting into this, this rocky area right here. And we're coming along the rocks. As you can, if you flip back and look, you can match these up. And then, you know, I think, I think that was easier back then. So, come on people, don't criticize CMTRA for doing trail maintenance. Look at this, oh, we yeah. had to recut this in, so it. this is an example. This is brand new, this was gnarly, I could have grabbed a newer video and showed how it was washed out, but this is fresh, that's how it looks right now. And they recut this in, this is what people are like, oh they're making it too easy, it's like a highway. It's not like a highway, you just haven't been riding it that long, or you have forgotten what it used to be like. That's the idea behind this video, to show like, yeah, it used to be maybe a little harder here, but you know, things washed away, things that used to be easy or like extreme now, you know, the trail was never an extreme trail. It seemed like it to people at the time, but it, it wasn't. So we're going to stop the, right there and then continue on with the old video through the section that was washed out, got repaired, and see, it used to be nice and wide and it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just mentally sketchy because you had to creep down below, but compared to how it had been in the recent years washed out, that, you know, they just returned it back to this. So, not a big deal. And we're coming up the hill here through these trees and see that was nothing now that's like a big step up that was nothing back then <laughs> so you know calm down people on people doing trail maintenance and restoring stuff back to how it was and then right here oh that's the big step yeah see that's nothing you just kind of roll up the, the roots and then right there you know it wasn't a big deal now they fixed it now you're back to how it was instead of skirting that rock and then that has always been narrow right there and we're gonna go back here in a little bit after i get up this uh spot so now you can kind of go around you can kind of cruise right across that's how it used to be so let's have a look so see here we are we got a rock you kind of was a V, and I was kind of a newer rider. This was actually the spot that was always 
kind of kind of hard you know but you were kind of in this notchy spot so it wasn't a huge deal and yes that's the same spot so go back take a look in the video and come back you know, flip back and forth in this video feel free and check it out because <laughs> this area was one of the harder spots and then you got through that and it was like oh good i'm through that and then you made your way around there like you always have see this is like nothing right here look i mean the only line was straight up and then i throw the bike but the line used to be straight up you could even go skirt around to the right so think about that and then here's the water crossing we're gonna go across and we go up this stuff and you know this is pretty much the same as it was back then in this section so I just kind of wanted to show that there we go there's a sign there here's the water crossing and we go across there's the rocks I think the next pile wasn't as bad of course I'm taking a break because I was dead tired versus nowadays I can ride right through that stuff but yeah that second pile was not a big deal this was a lot more washed out back then I think this was one of the harder sections also because it was also more like a trench and basically we're in the V and that's the only grip your tires had so go back go around the corner see the rock there avoid the rock that never used to be there by the way go up that little step thing and kind of around those rocks that root rock and yeah you get, you get yourself up here and Jonathan stopped so we stopped so go around so it was more of like step that there was no one single rock there and then up here this next corner it was hard to match this up because the next corner it's in the light let's see how that looks here in a second as I catch my breath yeah it, it was nothing it was nothing had shown yet for rocks that rock hasn't even really stuck out although I still kind of went around it it wasn't that big of a deal back then versus how it had become so once again people think the pipeline was always this gnarly trail it wasn't and here we go we're taking off and you know we are cruising at a pretty good clip but again this video is mainly for me to voice over and show you the trail and showcase how it is today versus what it was 10 years ago. So that's why I like doing these videos originally because it's documentation. 20, 30 years go by, we can take a look and we can see or somebody else can do that at that time. If I'm not doing YouTube, if it's still up, they can see how the trail used to be and compare it through the years. And so then we get to the spot where they graded, where they trail dozed. So going through this section, this section seemed to like it was a lot more woodsy, if you will. Of course, the camera quality back then was a lot worse than it is now. So that is one downside of looking at the old footage. You know, and image stabilization was nothing special. I don't even know if it existed. And then just the camera quality wasn't that good to begin with. But this section, I think, was a little bit harder back then than it was now in, in small little sections. But it, I don't think it was overly hard. It was more true single track, I guess, how narrow it was. And then we come up here. We're going to go down around that rock. That was in the other video. You can go look back. The water crossing. And then get up to the second stream crossing here which is just a trickle this is where they uh, dozed in with the trail dozer so this is what it looks like now and then this is the section I think most people will be interested in and what it looks like back 10 years ago and you know it's basically kind of the same really I mean I think it was a uh, pretty flowy back then which then it became really washed out and that's not how the trail used to be that's why they went through and they took a trail dozer people saying well they made it a highway they did not 
make it a highway. They did maintenance to return it to how it was before. Remember, trails where things are going to start showing rocks, roots, this and that. Obstacles that are natural are going to start showing. And over time, it will become too gnarly. Remember, these are public trails, people. The general public are out here riding. They don't know. They get on pipeline. They're going to start spinning the tire because they get stuck right here, for example, or something. Who knows why they get stuck? And then it trenches out, and water rushes down the trail, and that trenches it out. And over time, you have to do some trail maintenance. These trails were never really that hard to begin with. Mount Rosa was always the hardest trail, and even back back 10 years ago, it was a lot easier than it is now so you know let's just step back before you start criticizing groups for maintaining trails that people are oh i'm so glad you're out there cutting down trees i'm so glad you you like cut those trees out but oh damn you just took a trail dozer down and you just ruined the trail come on now man you can't have it both ways either you're thanking them or you're not just shut the fuck up is what you probably should be doing I'm just saying, these trails will wear in. <laughs> that's that's the decomposing granite. So this is how it used to be, up all that section. This is back before it got really bad. Look, look how smooth this section is. There, yeah, that rock's there, but it's like just this light little obstacle. It had become a major stupid obstacle. Why? <laughs> You're going to get average Joe out there on a public trail getting stuck making it worse and that's how it made it worse over time that and weather and then you can see you know this was getting kind of trenchy from water running down but it's pretty smooth it's pretty compact and it might have been a little moist out that day I, you know, I don't remember in, in 2013 exactly when I rode a uh, pipeline but obviously there's no snow so it's definitely not winter time not fall you know they're at least on the ground there's no snow so I'm not quite sure when I rode but uh, yeah this this is how it used to be it used to be a pretty smooth trail going up and that's what my video is showing proof that you know yes they trail dozed it but it's not the end of the world people the trail used to be smooth they made it smooth again it will slowly break in and form naturally a kind of single track spot with some obstacles over time naturally it's going to do that you just have to work on these trails and you have to maintain them over time because general public is out here riding public trails getting stuck and possibly getting hurt and come on now it's public trails you just have to, you, they have to maintain them over time. You can't just keep letting these things get whooped out and, and gnarly and gnarly and gnarly. That's just not how the trail was. This was never the gnarliest trail. I never even thought it was the gnarliest trail back then. I knew it was a trail I could do by myself. I knew there were some uh, steep spots, but overall, I rode it by myself a lot. And I think that's where over time I had false sense of the trail hasn't changed and it was changing I just didn't realize it and now I look back and I'm like it changed it got it got worse and worse and they had to do some maintenance so thank you CMTRA for going out there and maintaining our trails I really appreciate it I hope this video helped other people out have a good one bye